Hello, I'm Brad Beard, Mercury Wine, coming to you from our fabulous tasting room in downtown Geyserville, located in the heart of the Alexander Valley. And today I'm going to be answering some very serious questions about some very serious wine situations. And uh, as a situational wine drinker, I think that I'm very qualified to answer these questions. So let's go ahead and get right to it. Uh, okay, our good friend Eric from Edison, New Jersey writes, Hey Brad, I'm planning an outdoor barbecue and would like to serve reds that will pair with my ribs, but I think it will be too hot. What should I do? Well, you're right, Eric. You do have a serious wine situation. Let's sit down and think about it for a second. Okay, Eric. First of all, you don't want to freak out because you do have options. And uh, your first option, or your first thing you need to do is you need to resist uh, pulling out your biggest, heaviest reds. Don't pull out your big calves. Don't pull out your big zins. You really want to pull out your medium body reds, your Merlot, your Malbec, your Tempranillo, your Grenache, your Sangiovese that have been lightly oaked, not heavy oaked wines. That's going to help out as well. And then this is the part where uh, you really need to hang on to your socks. Uh, what you want to do is you want to put them in uh, your ice chest with your beer. Don't cover them all the way up to their neck with ice. Just lay them on top. And what that's going to do is it's going to bring them down to a really good temperature for you. Probably in the 50 degree range is what you want to start with. Uh, and you said it's hot, so it'll be okay. You'll cool them down, and then when you pour them into the glass, uh, it's going to warm right back up for the people, but it's not going to be too hot. And uh, the last thing you don't want to do is you don't want to serve full, full glasses of wine. You want to serve a half glass of wine or a quarter glass of wine. So again, as the people are eating dinner, their wine's not warming up and getting a lot of alcohol in those and uh, ruining your pairing with um, what I'm sure are your great ribs. So I think this will take care of you. I hope you have a great barbecue. Thanks.